Good morning. How's everybody out there today? Uh, welcome to Christman Garage. I call this Christman Shed. Um, I think today we'll call it Christman School. Because, uh, might learn something. I wasn't much for learning, but we'll try it. Um, we'll, I got something out here today we call it a flame licker, flame eater. It's a little motor. But uh, before we run it, we got to do a little TLC. We got to take time to clean and lubricate. Well, TLC, that would be take time to lubricate and clean. Anyhow, you know what I'm talking about. Let's go over here to the cupboard and dig it out. I think you'll be right impressed with it. here it is. I got it. Um, I didn't build this thing. I bought it. And you'll know why when you see it because it's clean. Um, we got to have some Q-tips. Got a good rag. And here it is. This thing is called a flame eater. See it right there? A flame eater. That means it takes a little bit of flame to make it run. And uh, what we got to do today before we run it is uh, clean it. Look at that, she's got moisture on it. And uh, that there's a fire pot. But you see this up here? See that little uh, thing right there? Maybe if I turn some more light on here, it'll light up a little bit so you see. This right here is the, where the flame goes in. As that closes, it builds up pressure. There it comes up. But to get it timed, to get it timed, you see that ledge right there? That's got to be flush with that ledge. If it's too far up or too far back, it's not going to run. But this is dirty right now. And we're going to have to clean it all up real good. And uh, get it, because these motors don't like dirt. Back in here, you can put oil. Two little places back here on you, put a little on there. But this cylinder right here, doesn't like any oil. Now I'm going to do one more thing before we get started. There's a lot of little tiny pieces on this thing. And me, I found out, I'm going to put it on this tray for two reasons. If I drop a little bolt or screw, because you can see there's some tiny little screws here we got to take out. If I drop one, I can find it on this tray. Another thing, we're going to be messing with alcohol and fire. If we can keep the fire contained in here, instead of out around here, we might just have a shed tomorrow yet. But alcohol and fire is something, it's a scary thing. It will burn you right now. And Now, i got to get some cleaning stuff over here. Let's see, what did I do with that stuff now? I've lost my cleaning stuff. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I found what I'm looking for. Over here it is. We gotta have some uh, Q tips. I mean, I got some big ones in here. I like these here for cleaning my thing. That big, big one. We don't need that quite that big, but we'll take them. We're gonna get them out. I probably only need one or two of them. We got these juice. How would you like that for a COVID test? Might even be able to check your brain matter with them. Right, well, we'll stick them back over here again. Maybe we can lose them again. I don't know. Okay, now one of them was that I've got to get us some alcohol. Remember I said we're going to play with alcohol? This stuff right here, if you're going to mess with it, you better have your insurance paid up. That stuff will get you. We're going to open it up here and get a little shot of it. And uh, what I do, make things just a little bit safer. 
We're gonna put the this is my fire pot right here anyhow. This this is actually that's the fuel tank to that little motor. Don't look like much, does it? But we're gonna use the fuel tank for a cleaning substitute. We're gonna put a little There we go. He's fueled up. But now we see keep that we keep this away from that because we don't want no fire near that. I'm gonna put it back over here. And uh, I have learned from a few mistakes to be kind of careful. Now to do this, I gotta do I gotta take this piston out. And to do that it takes a little teeny tiny allen wrench. We'll see what size that is. It's, it's pretty scrawny. Oh, it's bigger than that one. Let's see. Oh, look at that. There we got We got We got that and the Now, what I got to do is take this little uh, screw out. Eh. I'll try to get out of the way there a little bit so you can see. And, uh, there we go. Got that. And there's a little bushing in there. I'll see if I can get that camera in there a little bit closer for you. Yeah. But, uh, there's a little teeny tiny bushing in there. And now I'm going to pull the piston out. Ain't that a cute little piston? And there's that little bush I was telling you about. Now I'm playing dummy dummy here. Because if I uh, don't keep it over that, see, I dropped it. If I dropped it on the floor, I'd spend the next six months looking for it. And uh, this right here, we got to clean it. There's something else we do with this thing when we do it. Um, when you lubricate these, it takes graphite, powdered graphite to lubricate them. And uh, you'll see it's a graphite. It's actually, if you took a pencil and grind the lead up on it, that's graphite. And uh, what i got to do now, I want to clean that cylinder out. Maybe if I put a little more light down here, it might help a little bit. But uh, I'm going to do dip that in that alcohol. Boy, that thing drank that up. And we're going to swab that cylinder. That's just like the old time we used to clean the cannon, didn't they? This cylinder's solid brass. See that? She's nasty up in there. We'll do it some more. There we go. I think that was about dead. We'll throw it in away. And, uh, let's see. What do I do with my graphite? Okay, right here's my graphite. I'll get it out here. And, uh, okay. There's some more things there. Now, we're going to take around more of these up in there and get it good and clean. And we're going to wipe this down good. I'll get over here in the light where you partner see what I'm doing. But, uh, that's pretty cool. Now, to do this, we're going to take, and this here is some evil stuff right here. We put a little bit up there. You see it powdery. Cool. Ease that piston back in there. Well, she's slick as a, there we go. Oh, that feels pretty good. Now what we got to do is bring that out here, we'll put that little bushing back in there, we'll turn it over here a little bit, and uh, ease this screw back up in here. I'll tell you one thing, that fingers don't work on small stuff. That's why I keep this tray underneath it, because I have dropped stuff and spent three days looking for it, and halfway through I forget what I'm looking for. I'll find something else and get sidetracked. 
I believe we got it started that time. I'm gonna take this that little bush and spaces it out so it uh you can tighten this up and it's still free on there. Without that she'd lock up and she wouldn't go. Actually on a gasoline engine, that'd be called a rod bearing. Now we're gonna turn this thing around a little bit. And uh we'll go. Let's see what we got right here. Yeah, she's a little bit nasty right there, ain't she? There we go. We got it clean now. Maybe we'll wipe that down a little bit. We'll, get some. we'll do a little bit cleaning on that intake right there. And if we can use small Q-tips on that. I'll take this up here and just wash it down a little bit. See, I can, that alcohol will dry. And you don't want to put no oil on here because that oil and that graphite would make a mess. They'd gum it up. And these motors, that's why they don't like oil. Uh, graphite is a lot slicker than the oil. So, uh, I believe we got, and I got that down there time just right. This little thing right here, you can take this out. This is actually the valve. See that? That's actually the valve that slides back and forth on that thing. And you got to have that thing pretty well timed. And if you don't, she'll all kind of put in. And there's a certain amount of pressure you got to have on this thing too, or it'll kick the valve out. You actually bend. Bend this thing in or out to just your valve, and then you keep you bend it in to keep pressure on it. So see, it's got to have a certain amount of pressure. See that right there? If you ain't got pressure on it, when she uh, fires, it'll push it off. So you got to. It's kind of crucial. So you got to you got to play with, figure out how to bend this thing here. But to get them running, you got to have that just flush of that intake right there. I believe we got it pretty close. You know, if you all don't mind, I'm going to pull my stump over here and sit down. Y'all want to see the motor, you don't want to see me anyhow. But see, I put a... Put a drop wall on there. And drop over here on this same side. And if I turn this motor around, this here is in there. You'll see the cam, right there is the cam. And that's what rides... That's what that little valve rides on, that cam right there. I don't know if you can see it or not. See that right in there? There's a the cam. I can put a little oil on that bearing. You believe a little motor like this got a roller cam in it? Look at it. <laughs> roller cam. And, uh, oh, you hear that? That's what she'll sound like when she's running. But she'll get louder. So, uh, well... You think we're ready to run it? I don't know. Maybe we'll just look at it for a while. But there's a magnet right here, and this is sticky for a stain or steel that sticks. And what we gotta do is we're gonna do a stick that right there on that magnet. And uh, I keep this on here. And this here is alcohol. And uh, we're gonna try it now. I'm gonna. This here's gonna be fire. But if we put that over here, and put up that port right there. There she goes. And by changing this flame, I can get it to go faster so. That's the way you tune it. I just thought that's kind of neat. It's called a flame liquor, a flame eater. We're going to cut all the lights off and see if you can see that alcohol. You can see it burn with better with the lights off. blow the valve off. That's what happens when you try to crowd it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
blow that out, and I'm going to put this over that thing like that right there. And uh, that's what happens when that valve gets a little bit out of the wax. You'll kick it out. And, uh, but uh, I'll do some more work on it. Maybe we'll dig it out another day. She's warmed up pretty good. She's what you call a hot air engine. I'll give you the place where I got this from. It actually come out of Wellsville, New York. They uh, do all kinds of stuff. They have a... Uh, uh, little drill presses and milling machines and all that stuff to scale down to the size of this engine. And uh, it, it, it's some neat stuff, but it's expensive. This little motor right here was, it was high dollar to me. But uh, I, I like stuff like this. And I got one more sometime I'm going to dig out and show it to you. It's a little steam engine. You boil water, make steam, put steam to the engine, and that's what makes it run. It's called live steam. Most, I got two other engines I run on compressed air. You've seen one of them. And this here is what they call a hot air engine. It runs off hot air. And uh, I appreciate y'all watching this. And uh, I hope you learned something and uh, enjoyed it. It wasn't that much for uh, teaching anything, but just uh, I enjoy doing stuff like this. And I got the time to do it. Y'all have a good day now. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.